This is our digestive tract. And the job of digestive tract is take inside food, that's the mouth, and this is your teeth, and break this food down by means of stewing that, by means of hydrochloric acid here in the stomach, by means of bile, bile is produced, here is the liver, liver produced uh, into small intestine, also pancreatic enzymes produced here by pancreas. So the food comes to digestive tract, you break it down into smallest particles, you break it further down into smallest particles, you break it further down into smallest particles until you break them into such small pieces that they actually could be absorbed through the lining of digestive tract into your blood and this is your bloodstream. This is the smallest particles here they are get absorbed here into the bloodstream and eventually get delivered into your individual cell and the cell will build and rebuild itself out of the food that you just ate today and yesterday. So here is your low esophageal sphincter and suppose you're the person who has acid reflux. That means this, uh, the, uh, the acid goes out of the stomach into esophagus and creates inflammation. If left untreated, we all know the effect of that. Number one is Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus. If left untreated, that may contribute further later in life into esophageal cancer. And almost everybody does know about that. Also, the fact that acid comes up here into esophagus and creates irritation, people feel it as a, uh, a pain and irritation and inflammation. So most of the people will seek help. And what they are going to do, they will go to the doctor, they'll be diagnosed by upper esophageal studies that they have irritation and inflammation and get the treatment. And the usual treatment is going to be PPI, proton pump inhibitors, which will decrease production of hydrochloric acid. So now, suppose you are the person, and you already know there are many other reasons for uh, acid reflux, you're the person who actually has a decreased production of hydrochloric acid or you are diluting your hydrochloric acid by drinking large amount of liquid during the meal. So even if you did not receive the PPI and you left your acid reflux untreated, what happens because you underproduce hydrochloric acid, food is not broken down in the stomach. There is no other place where it will go, be go broken down further in the digestive tract. As a result, the food goes through digestive tract unbroken and eventually get excreted so you lost that food or if you get treatment with PPI and you further decrease production of hydrochloric acid the same effect the food is undigested get undigested through the digestive tract and get excreted result of that is malabsorption mal absorption. Also, undigested food creates irritation of the digestive tract and inflammation.